What's going on, Combat Sports Nation? This is Sean here with more CES post-event coverage with another post-fight interview, this time with Eugene Aubrey, who now is 3-0, three finishes as he finished his opponent this past weekend with a rear naked choke. You'll hear a disappointed uh, Eugene for the simple fact that he fell into uh, his opponent Gill's uh, uh, trap, uh, making it a brawl, you know, just going in there, uh, throwing a little bit of the game plan out the window, uh, but still a very, very impressive performance to kick off the event, uh, the inaugural event for CES on Fight Pass. Uh, it, it, it was exciting. It was definitely excited. Um, exciting. He is now on a six-fight winning streak, uh, so he expects much more of himself. Uh, give a listen again. He sounds a little. He is a little bit disappointed, uh, but I don't believe, and a lot of the fans would agree. Nothing to be disappointed about his performance. I feel like I feel like shit. I don't, I'm not really happy with my performance, to be honest with you. Uh, felt a little flat. My head wasn't really moving. Uh, he was a tough guy, though. I will give him that. Like he was tougher than I thought. He was a good journeyman type. And so what he was doing was he was putting his forehead down to eat my shots and then and then trying to rain over top. And he was just making it an ugly fight. And I just really wasn't. I had to adapt. I wasn't. I thought I was gonna have more time and space, but no. He came out to really just knuckle. And uh, so, you know, instead of moving my head, I just started brawling back, and that's just no good. I want to at least have th uh, three to two more fights at least, and uh, just keep working my way up the ladder, you know. I, w I don't really want to fight guys that are moving me backwards. I want to fight guys that are moving me forwards as best I can, you know, and uh, just keep working up the ranks. I I I'm looking to fight tough guys, though. I want to fight the tough guys with the clean records, with the big fan bases, and I want to grow my name. Because, well, I mean, the ultimate goal is to hit the elite level. And if you're not willing to fight tough guys, then you obviously really don't want to get into the elite level. Because those guys who do it that way, they get in and if they lose three fights or two fights and then they're out. And I don't want to be that kind of guy. When I get to the elite level, I want to be able to compete and I want to make my name there. So to do that, you got to take the tough fights on the way up. That's the only way. With that mindset, I could see him by the end of 2019 um, being called up to to the next to the next level, whether that's Bellator or the UFC, the guy's mindset is on track and a hell of a scrapper. There you have it, Combat Sports Nation. My interview with Eugene Abre. I definitely, definitely appreciated his time. I appreciate everybody's time post fight uh, at CES 54. Their inaugural event was awesome on uh, Fight Pass. Greatly appreciate you guys following along. Make sure you check out the rest of my coverage post fight post event from CES this past Saturday. Thank you for following along. As always, greatly appreciate it. Follow us on Instagram. Watch us on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook. Visit us on Twitter. And stay tuned.